Hello and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to be reviewing one of the settings that we can change with one of my favorite free tools for Dynamics 365. The tool is called Org DB Settings. There's actually an app that you can import into Dynamics 365. Now before I show you the setting that we're changing, let me show you how it works out of the box. The setting that we're going to be changing is within the social pane in Dynamics 365. You know, one of my favorite things about the social pane since it came out is the fact that you can enter activities rapidly into the records. So in this case, I have a, a, a lead open and this is just an example. It works the same way everywhere. So if I go into activities, for example, you notice there's a phone call already in there. So if I add a phone call, you notice I'm just going to add the words um, you know, follow up just as an example and adding a description here, call to follow up after initial meeting, just typing something in there. I'm going to say that the call is actually today, right? So October 8th and I'm going to click OK. Now, one thing that you will notice is that when I enter this phone call into the system, the system will automatically mark it as completed which is a problem because once you complete an activity, it sort of becomes read only, right? And you can see it's completed by Gus Gonzalez. It, it, it's read only, there's nothing I can do with it. So instead of doing that, what, what you do in, in uh, you know, when you're training users and whatnot, you're telling them to, instead of doing this, just go into the activities pane and enter it there if you don't wanna complete it. Uh, because once you enter it in the social pane, it's completed automatically. And there's really no way inside of Dynamics 365 to change that behavior. The social pane is configured that way. There's nothing you can do to change it. Or is there? We have the tool, or DB settings, as I mentioned, the app that you can download and import into Dynamics 365. The tool was created by this guy right here, Sean McNeils. Sean McNeils is a PFE or a premier principal premier field engineer at Microsoft. So Sean, thank you so much for putting this tool together for us. And you can find the tool in GitHub. So let me show you um, the project for it. So here's the GitHub page for it, org db settings or org db org settings, I guess is the official name of the tool. So go in there and download the solution and import it into Dynamics 365. So once you import it, this is what it looks like. So you open the solution and it comes with a bunch of different settings in here that you can change in order to sort of modify the default behavior of Dynamics 365 behind the scenes. Now, all these changes are supported via the SDK, meaning you can use you can use code essentially to change these settings behind the scenes. And there's a bunch of cool ones in here. However, today I'm just going to focus on one of them. And the one that I'm going to be focusing on is make social pain phone call completed, which is this setting that you have right here. Now notice that it's set to true, which is the default behavior of Dynamics 365. So before I change it, let's just drop a countdown on the corner and let's go. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to click on add to add this setting. In other words, enable it or allow me to change it. Now, once I add it, notice that the default is true. So I have to change that. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to just type false, just simple like that and click update. Now you're going to get a question asking, are you sure? Now, while it's saving, let me just tell you that every one of these settings, as I mentioned, is documented. And Sean did a really good job adding the KB article that explains all the different settings. So you might read it and not really understand what the setting does. Just go into that KB article and you can get the explanation for it. But that's pretty much it. So once you once you switch it from true to false, now we can go back and test how the tool will work. So let me just go back into this lead. Let's just open another record. It doesn't really matter uh, which record it is. Let's just go to a contact, for example, and open a random contact in the system. Obviously, I'm not set up with the view. So I'm just going to open Cat Francis, the infamous Cat Francis, right? That's been um, one of the sample contacts in Dynamics for forever. So again, you go to the activities um, you know, tab within the social pane. I'm going to click on add a phone call. And now I'm going to add, again, a follow-up call in here. Call oops, to debrief, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. You set a due date just like we did before. Same example today, tomorrow. It doesn't matter when you do it. And then you click OK and the phone call will be saved. But notice that instead of saying completed by Gus Gonzalez, 
It just says modify and you have the complete button right here, which means that the phone call now stays open, stays active. You can go back in there and type on notes. Since I know since I don't need to call Cat Francis until the 10th, I can go back in there and click on my phone call record, add some more notes in here, obviously, as you can see. And I have a super loud keyboard, as you can tell. Um, but, you know, after that, you can mark it as completed or you can just exit out and auto saves behind the scenes. So, again, it's a huge advantage to be able to have that phone call not mark itself as completed, which is, you know, one of those settings that you cannot really change within Dynamics. But you can do it with the OrcDB Orc Settings app that you can import into Dynamics 365. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip and we'll see you next week.